All right, today is uh, Saturday, uh, September 18th, 2010. You know, I was in the old neighborhood uh, for a little drive through yesterday looking at the old houses in the neighborhood. Do you ever think about the old neighborhood, Warren Avenue or Walnut Street? Not often. Not often. <laughs> Not often. No. Uh, it's interesting. I always think about what might have happened if. Um, do you ever think about what might have happened if you still, if we were still on Warren, stayed on Warren Boulevard? Mm, I really don't know. You know, like I said, I very seldom think about it. Yeah. Been gone from there for so long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you been back on that area anytime? Been through there a couple of times, Beverly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A couple of times. Uh, you know, it's always fun when I come to Chicago and see everybody mm -hmm. and realize how much work it is having yeah. raised five kids. Yeah, well, we're always glad to have you, you know, yeah. it's your home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think about what you might have done if you didn't have five kids? What else you might have done in life? Oh, I, I really don't, you know. I really can't think about what I would have done. Yeah. I don't know. Are there other things you yeah. might... You you might uh, maybe gone one living or would be living or something. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. at one point there were other things. I, I thought you said sometime you, you you all were thinking about doing a restaurant. Was that a, was that a, was that something you thought about doing? Oh yeah. Hey, just a long time ago, but you know, mm -hmm. we thought about it. Uh, I almost did it, but. I've changed our mind. Mm -hmm. What happened when you say you almost did it? What happened? Yeah, we thought about the crime and everything, and the two women in the restaurant. <laughs> we changed our mind. Mm -hmm. So you were doing? You were thinking about doing it on the west side? Yeah, we were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you have? A, you have a location in mind? No, it would have been on the uh, west side of where we were living, if we had opened it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was it going to be a soul food restaurant? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and you and she were going to run it together. Mm -hmm. Hmm. She was a good cook too. Very good, very good. How did you all get to be such good cooks? Well, our mother was a good cook. Our grandmother, our great-grandmother went all back down the line. So all our people were good cooks. Mm -hmm. So part of growing up, you, you were in the kitchen? My daddy was a good cook. He could cook anything. Mm -hmm. Very good cooks. Mm -hmm. So how did you first learn about cooking? From my mother. Mm -hmm. She was a cateress and uh, she cooked everything. And I watched her cook, help her. That's how I learned how to cook. Mm -hmm. So how early did you start spending time in the kitchen? Oh, about eight years old. Really? About eight. Jesse was a head cook. I mean, at some time, you know, some days in my grandmother's and uh, I would be in the kitchen with her, you know, to help her. So, she was about 10 years old. I was about 80, you know, mm -hmm. we cook. Mm -hmm. huh. We get together to cook. Mm -hmm. Make coffee and all that stuff. So, so, you know, I never knew that Mama Eula Bell was, was doing catering. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of Will met and North Everston, Lincoln, and all them places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she was catering for white affairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Parties and different stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's how she learned to eat all that different food, you know. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, Mama Eulabel had a lot of different business skills, didn't she? Oh yeah. Cause she knew real estate, she knew catering, she knew farming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's where my grandfather was. He way back. He had a lot of different skills too. 
a lot of different scales back in those days. Uh, my grandmother, you know, they all was like that. Mm -hmm. So that's where your mother got it from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they didn't never go to high school or college, but they had business sense. Business, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of businesses did your grandfather have growing up? Well, he was in the farming business, you mm -hmm. know. He was in the farming business and building, you know. He could build and help build, oh yeah. So he built houses and that kind of thing? He, he could, yeah, he, he used to help, mm -hmm. yeah. When they, he was younger, but then we got older, he'd hire people to do it, do, you know, anything to be built, he'd hire people to do it. Mm -hmm. So even in those days, they would train a daughter in, the, in these skills. Oh, yeah. Him and my grandmother built uh, this big house that we lived in, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was a big house and they built it on a uh, sand bed with the high pillars, concrete pillars. That's because they had a lot of floods back in those days. And the water wouldn't seep and wash the house with the sand, the, uh, sand bed would soak up the water, see. Mm -hmm. So this is in the Augusta area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Mama Eula Bell would pick this up from her mother and father. Oh yeah, yeah. All, all my family was, my uncle, he was a mechanic. He could take a car apart and put it back together. All, every, all of us, you know, smart people. Yeah, he had it, plenty of it. So he and his brothers inherited land from mm -hmm. his father. Yeah. So his father. But my was... grandfather, he he paid for it. The other the other uncle, you know, he had his part, but he just kept his part. My grandfather paid for the other brother's part to keep it from getting away, you know. Cause back in those days. The white folks would grab it. They even try to take it away from me, but they couldn't take nothing away from my grandfather. Mm -mm. Cause he'd stand up to them and they didn't take nothing. And they wanted some of that land so bad they didn't know what to do. Yeah, 2,000 acres is a big. Oh, it's a lot, of, it's a lot. It's a whole lot, whole lot, mm -hmm. whole lot, yeah. Yeah, but then he started getting sick and he started selling it, you know, selling part of it, you know. He sold most of all of it because he, he was sick and uh, he couldn't farm like he used to, you know, hiring people to help him. And so he sold most of all of it. Mm -hmm. Well, even when he was younger, he must have people help him work that land. That's a big, big spread. Oh, yeah, he always hired people, had people to help him. Always. He couldn't run that farm by itself. It was. Mm -hmm. Too big. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was the the spread you had talked about before uh, that had uh, a church on it. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. This is Fielding's. Yeah, he had people to come in, and he had a pine, a whole lot of pines on uh, some of his land. Pine. Mm -hmm. And he had the sawmill to come in and cut those pines down and. And uh, he had the, the uh, church and the school built uh, on the place. Uh -huh. So the church was built in the school from, from lumber? Yeah. Uh, yeah. From the land? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From his pines. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Plus he'd sell other people the pines, you know. Uh, he'd he'd sell, it, sell them to them, you know. Mm -hmm. The pines is very, very valuable wood. You know, you can buy furniture made out of pine. It's mm -hmm. real good furniture. Mm -hmm. So he had a lot of dealings with blacks and whites. Oh yeah, blacks and whites, both of them, him and my grandmother. My grandmother, oh, she was a midwife and uh, she lived with babies for everybody. She didn't turn nobody down. Everybody, those that didn't speak to her, she, you know, they come get her, she didn't live with the babies. Was that Grandma Nellie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then she would make, uh, she was a herb doctor too. 
she get all those herbs and whatever your ailment was, she'd make the, that medicine, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's a wonderful person. She lived a good long life, didn't she? No, not really. No? She was 60, I think 64 when she died. Is that all? Mm -hmm. hmm. Yellow jaundice and hepatitis. Really? Don't in our family live past, past 70. Any of my mother's people. Mm. I think my grandfather was 70 when he passed. Any 70, like 74. Mm -hmm. Most of the land was inherited, but there was, a, but there was a lot of different things that went on on this farm. This was more than just a regular farm farm, wasn't it? Yeah, well, my grandfather died, you know, my uncle, he, he stepped in, you know, took over most of it. Mm -hmm. Sold a lot of it, you know. Right. But w w when it was working, you said there was a school there. Who attended the school? We did. Me and Jesse. And who else was coming to the school? The neighborhood children. Really? So this is the school for the colored we people? We lived on a farm. Mm hmm We was near Augusta, but a little place called Mac Bean, Georgia. The uh, neighborhood, ch black neighborhood children. Mm hmm were there uh, Indians living in the area? No, not not when we was born. Mm -hmm. Not no, not mm -hmm. when I come along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe when Mama was, you know, young. Mm -hmm. No, they was all dead. I didn't see any. So relationship with whites was pretty good, in spite of the fact that your grandfather had a lot of. Oh yeah. He was wealthy by those by local terms. Oh yeah, they was, they was you know. Well, my grandfather. Back in those days, it was called well off, you know. He had all that land and different stuff, and you know, they was in different organizations, and you know, it didn't bother nobody. It was very respectable people. Very feeling sprang up all the way up to feeling sprang, you know. That was part of the uh, church and stuff up there. But the home was called Feelings Grove. No. It's called Feeling. Near our house was Feeling Grove. That okay. was Feeling Spring. Okay. His daddy, my grandfather's father, helped build that Feeling Spring mm, on that highway up there near Augusta. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Church still there. But the place, the, the, the farm that your grandfather, was it called Feelings? No, no. It was just, just uh, Justin Feelings Farm. Justin okay. Feelings Farm, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I come well, again. they sold the land. Mama had her part, and well, Jesse was still lying there, so he, he gave Jesse. She had uh, four or five acres. She sold, you know. It was good money, but uh, it wasn't really what it was worth today, you right. know. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, there was nobody there to work it. It's hard to keep up with it. Oh yeah, and then my grandfather got sick. He got sick, he couldn't, couldn't work, you know, anymore. And then the people that was helping him, uh, my uncles, uh, boys, they didn't have a mother or father, so they was living with us and they would help, you know, mm -hmm. go to school and help out. But they got grown, so they left. Yeah. Nobody wants to live on the farm, you know. They went back to Atlanta and Augusta, all them places, you know. Mm -hmm. So those were the good old days, and yep, just had one sister, and she done left, man. Mother and father didn't have but two children. Yep. Oh, that's the way it goes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Take one day at a time. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, you look good. Well, I do pretty good. <laughs> I had five of you all, so <laughs> yeah, I done my best. Yeah, you did a good job, no Getting question. Get on up there now, I got up there. Well, yeah. Got on up there, yeah. Well, you got a child that's 70, you definitely up there. Yeah, 70 years old, going on 71. 
Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. 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 Well, I've been wonderfully blessed through it all. Wonderfully blessed. Yes, we are. And then I had good children. That's what kept keeping me going, you know. Yeah. Grandchildren. Yeah. And great grandchildren. Yeah, great, great grandchildren. Yeah. Great, great. Got eight grandchildren. Oh, Lord, I stopped counting them. I must have about 20 great grandchildren. And I got uh, three great, great grandchildren. Because Keisha got three. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Mm -hmm. uh that's right. Mm -hmm. 23 of them. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of, lots of grandchildren. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> lots of them. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. That's I all right. Them all. I just, some of them scattered around and some I could see and, you know. Yeah, I try to tell them all, you know, and about different things, you know. Like I got to talk with Brandon and he was just surprised, you know, what I was trying to tell him about, you know, how we come up in the olden days and uh -huh. doing stuff, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Big, this is a new day now. Yeah. You just wouldn't believe what's happening. Yeah, and I imagine when them grandchildren get grown, it's, you wouldn't believe what's going to happen in their day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big time, big day. Big difference. Yes, yes, yes. Big difference. Yeah, I'm glad I lasted this long. Oh, yeah. Glad I lasted this long. Yeah, it's a blessing to see it. Yeah, it is. It is.